minus 15 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 plus 1 India rocket scientist common known as father of Indian rocket propulsion Dr. A. E. Muthu Nayagam was born in 1939 at Ida Yangudi, a small village in Tirunelveli district, Tamil Nadu. He had a bright academic career in school and he secured the top position in CCM High School from where he completed his secondary school certificate after a brilliant two-year studies at St. John College, Palayam Kottai. He completed meritoriously his Bachelor of Engineering degree program from Madras University in 1960 in first class with honors. Then he successfully completed his master's degree program in engineering with distinction in 1962 from Indian Institute of Science. Subsequently he successfully completed his doctoral degree program from the School of Mechanical Engineering at Purdue University, USA. After his doctoral degree, he started working in a NASA-sponsored project at an aerospace company in USA. Working for about one year in USA, Dr. Muthanaya Gam joined the Indian Space Program in April 1966 as Divisional Head, Space Science and Technology Center, SSTC, under Dr. Vikram A. Sarabhai. He was one among the senior scientists selected by Dr. Sarabhai from abroad. When he initiated the space research program in India, Dr. Muthanaya Gam grew with the organization and contributed to its development, specifically in the areas of propulsion for both launch vehicles and satellites. His contributions were significant in development of technologies, subsystems, supplies for different launch vehicle and satellite projects of Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, and also development of new institutions with required infrastructure and manpower. During a major reorganization of activities, Activities at ISRO in Thumba, he became director of propulsion group of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and then additionally the program director of auxiliary propulsion unit of ISRO. In a subsequent reorganization, he became the director of liquid propulsion systems center, LPSC, one of the major R&D centers of ISRO which had headquarters at Valiamela, Trivandrum Kerala, with focus on launch vehicle related activities. A R&D campus at Bangalore, with focus on satellite-related activities and a test center at Mahendragiri, Tamil Nadu, with infrastructure and facilities for assembly, integration, and testing of propulsion subsystems, engines, stages, etc. including altitude simulation testing for propulsion stages, operating at higher altitudes. Dr. Muthanaya Gam made significant contributions to the Indian space programs for 29 years. His contributions include development and supply of of all solid motors for all sounding rocket projects of ISRO, establishment of facilities and technologies for the development and supply of all four solid motors for the four-stage SLV-3 launch vehicle project, successfully implementing technical assistance and technology transfer programs with aerospace agencies in France and Germany, development and supply of three control systems namely SIVC for the first stage, bipropellant RCS for second stage and monopropellant RCS for third stage and associated critical components indigenously for the SLV-3 project, development and supply of all SIVC and RCS control systems for the launch vehicle project ASLV, development and supply of SIVC, RCS, gimbal control systems for all liquid stages for launch vehicle project PSLV. Development and supply of monopropellant RCS with 1 Newton thrusters for Satellite Project IRS and RCS package for Satellite Project SROS Development and supply of 22 Newton AOCS and 440 Newton liquid apogee by propellant motors for Satellite Project INSAT Development of liquid propulsion technology for launch vehicle and satellite applications which include technology transfer from SEP France for the Viking engine being developed then for Arian program of Europe implementing the SEPDOS agreement and producing Viking engines in India jointly with Indian Industries, development and supply of high thrust second stage for PSLV project, indigenous development and supply of regenerative cooled high performance liquid upper stage for the fourth stage of PSLV project, establishing a test center with all sea level and simulate altitude test facilities, propellant storage facilities, assembly and integration facilities, instrumentation facilities and all associated safety systems to test all liquid engines and stages at Mahendragiri, Tamil Nadu.
finalizing plans and initiating activities for development of cryogenic engine and stage indigenously which include configuring cryogenic upper stage, negotiating with Russian space agency for acquisition of cryogenic technology, organizing cryogenic project teams for technology acquisition and indigenous development, etc., and establishing necessary test facilities for the cryogenic stage, engine subsystems, and components at Mahendragiri, establishing a new pressure transducer production center at Bangalore to produce and supply about 8,000 space qualified pressure transducers to SEP France as per SEPDOS agreement. In April 1995, he was appointed as Secretary to Government of India, Department of Ocean Development. He was responsible for the development and growth of the department. This includes planning, monitoring, reviewing and guiding the programs of the entire department. Dr. Muthanaya Gan was also chairman of Regional Committee of Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission for the Central Indian Ocean. Chairman, Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources for two years. Vice Chairman of Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission. Few achievements of Dr. Muthanaya Gan in this domain were in 1998 a pilot project for demonstrating ocean thermal energy conversion technology and generating 1 MW gross in Indian waters with National Institute for Ocean Technology, R&D Center of the Department. Restructuring in 1997 the National Program on Drugs from the Sea for the Development of Drugs from the Marine Living Resources Flora and Fauna of the Sea, initiating a multi-institutional program on marine living resources initiating the deep sea mining technology development as a joint technology development program between India and Germany, augmenting the program on remotely operated vehicle ROV development with special sensors and devices for inspection, survey and maintenance for deep sea exploration and mining reorienting and restructuring in 1997 the program for satellite remote sensing applications in oceanography along with ocean dynamics and modeling an integrated coastal and marine area management program the ongoing multi-institutional program for monitoring the pollution of the Indian coastal waters was augmented in 1996 by deploying two new coastal research vessels and interacting closely with the central and state pollution control boards and implementing programs for marine environment protection in 1998, National Center for Antarctic and Ocean Research UNCR, was established as an autonomous institution under the Department of Ocean Development at Goa. In 1999, Indian National Center for Ocean Information and Service was established as an autonomous institution under the Department of Ocean Development. T was functioning inside IIT Madras campus with minimum facilities and limited R&D programs. In 1997, NIOT was reviewed, focused, reoriented and restructured with technology development groups, mission R&D groups, technology demonstration projects, operational groups, supporting administrative and services group. After the successful career in Department of Ocean Development from 2001 to 2004, he served as director and founder vice chancellor of Karanya Institute of Technology and Sciences. The invitation of the government of Kerala, Dr. Muthanaya Gam joined the Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and Environment Saint, as executive vice president. He was also appointed as the ex officio principal secretary to government of Kerala. Department of Science, Technology and Environment from 2005 to 2008. He served as Chairman of Board of Governors of Indian Institute of Technology Madras. He served as Pro-Chancellor of Noral Islam Center for Higher Education Niche Deemed University Kumara Coil, 2009-2012. He served as Chairman of State Environmental Impact Assessment Authority Kerala Expert Appraisal Committee of MOEF Defense-Related Strategic Projects and Research Council for Engineering and Technology Programs Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and environment. He was the director of Center for Desalination Research and Development, Tamil Nadu. He was the program director of Nayuzat Nano Satellite of Noral Islam Center for Higher Education. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai finding Dr. Muthan Yagam has made a mind-blowing contribution for the nation, starting from space to ocean, science and technology development to education for the nation, for the future generation. From the life of Dr. Muthan Yagam.
Only with successfully school and college education, you can do wonders. Not only that, need to have urge to learn continuously, which helps to take assignment from different domains. Finally need to have the dedication to serve for the nation.